What's going on, Phil's and Jenna Colton McNash, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Jeez. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Well, with the one arm, it might be difficult. It's written by Sean Bennett. Okay, I actually have a confession to make. I already did this once. OBS crashed like literally like 30 seconds before I ended the video. Okay, so yeah, I've already done this. Uh, you're climbing a ladder. I don't think so. Whoa. Uh, I guess if I had another arm, I would have done something there. You you have an option to not cut it off, but I don't know. I uh, said, so what the hell, it's more interesting this way. That must be tough, like, actually trying to do that. Uh, what's in that window? What? what's I see, I'm way behind them. See, uh, watch, watch out. out. Oh, a walker's falling on me. Shut the fuck up, man. Everything okay up there? I think I just peed myself. Oh, nice. Why am I on the bo- uh, See, I guess, well, if I fall, I don't take them all out. Although, uh, I guess if I fall, I'm screwed, and I'm the most likely to fall. Well, shit. I'm doing surprisingly well, actually, for a guy who just lost an arm with no anesthetic or anything. See, it's centering my view on the walkers. No help, hospital. It's almost like the help room. Like, the pee is sort of cut off. I assume it's supposed to say no help. There's a bunch of walkers down below. Remember when Savannah was empty? I kind of liked it better that way. Cleaned up the streets. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train. Hey, uh, maybe we can wait for an opening. Maybe we can wait for an opening. I don't know. We could be waiting a long time. Still, Lee's right, and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between. I that's where Clementine's being held. If we have to retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Okay, I guess. I need to see the one armed man is gonna be the one who's gonna have to worry about it. See, there's a bell tower over there. Another one? See, I can look back at the door. I'm gonna sort of search around. No, that's not gonna see. Let's look at the sign. I suppose, uh, see, you can look at the paint. Some poor so, bastard took a spill. See, I'm guessing yeah, it looks... Looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. Uh, I, yeah, that seems to make sense. He was, like, up right here and then fell over. Uh, let's look at the ladder, I guess. Extension ladder. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep looking around, and then I think... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else left to uh, left to look at. So I think now is going to be a good time to talk about the TV show. Uh, so I'm actually I'm totally caught up now. Uh, so this is season five, episode three. Uh, spoiler warning, I suppose. So it, it's it starts with um, see Bob. See Bob is uh, is that is you know still being held captive. And the guys are eating his leg and ranting about some bullshit. At which point he reveals that he's actually bitten. I don't know when he would have gotten bitten, but he starts screaming that he's tainted meat. But Gareth is like, oh, it's fine. We cooked him. Uh, let's see, back at the church. In the, uh, I, I, sh I guess I should review this too. You know, give my actual opinion instead of just a summary. But I guess I should summarize it first. Um... The, so it turns out what what happened with Gabriel, what he's hiding, is that after, like, members of the congregation went to seek shelter right when it happened, and he didn't let him in, and they all died. And, yeah, that's kind of tame. But, whatever. Uh, then it turns out Bob gets dumped in the, 
at the church by uh, the Terminus group. And I guess just left there. I don't know why they wouldn't have killed him, but... Uh, I I guess, well, I guess it makes sense later on. Um, he, he, tell, he tells the group that uh, they're staying at a school. And uh, they decide, let's see. Well, Abraham wants to leave now. Rosita's kind of, Ro, Eugene doesn't. Rosita is kind of, eh. Uh, uh, Rick manages, uh, well, it's actually Glenn who manages to convince Abraham to wait half a day. Because because not only is well, but they found Bob, but Daryl and Carol are still missing. Um, and, and so Glenn convinces them to wait half a day for uh, Carol and Daryl, and also give them time to go after the Terminus people and get revenge on them. Uh, Bob shows them their but his bite, by the way. Um, and so the group. Most of them leave. I think it's Tyrese stays, Carl stays, Gabriel and Judith stay. And Bob, obviously. Everyone else takes all their guns to go off to the school, but it's a trap! Um, they, uh, the Terminus group ends up in the church, and they, like, there's only a couple rooms. They don't know which one to start looking in first, but they're like... They, they say, they give Gabriel the opportunity to leave and take Judith, uh, if he gives them their position, but he refuses. Uh, but it turns out that, you know, Rick's group was expecting this, and they actually just sort of went off and came right back. And, uh, Rick shoots two of them in the head, uh, makes, uh, uh, you know, two just like random red shirts, makes, uh, Gareth Martin, the guy from, uh, the guy who Tyrese beat up. Uh, or, I guess, uh, uh, he was the guy who was in the cabin with Tyrese. Um, that makes it, you know, they make him, Gareth, and some other red shirt get on the ground. They, see, Martin and, uh, and, uh, the other red shirt get beaten, beaten in the head with gun butts. Well, uh, Rick chops Gareth into little tiny pieces with a machete. <laughs> when, I mean, I guess technically he had said he'd do that. Uh, you know, he, he said the machete is what I'm going to use to kill you way back in the season premiere. Um, and so, yeah, that happens. But, uh, and, and so they're all, and it turns out they have Michonne's katana as well. And, uh, so she gets that back. Uh, Bob ends up dying. And, uh, see, Tyrese is the one to end up having to destroy his brain. Glenn and Maggie fulfill their. This, they said they would go. They said they would go with a, with Abraham to DC after that half a day was up, but the rest want to stay around and wait for Daryl and Carol a little bit. And Michonne sees them rustling in the bushes, and it's Daryl. And she asks where Carol is, and uh, she and uh, he just says, "You can come out now," and looks at the bushes, and then we don't see who who comes out. I assume the next episode will be from Daryl and Carol's perspective. You know, the the same events that happen uh, up until then. But, uh... Wait, what was I gonna say? Oh, oh and, and it turns out the car that nabbed Beth was some Terminus people. Um, I for, I've even forgot to mention that when I did this yesterday. I actually I actually really liked this episode. It's one of my favorites, of the sh which isn't really say much. I like how they handled, uh, Gareth's death, even though I was sort of, I was of the opinion that he was probably going to be, like, the main antagonist of the season. But, you know, kind of like the governor or something. Um, it, it, it was kind of a similar, uh, similar origin story as well. Uh, I also like how they did Bob's death. I was starting to like Bob, but they did his death effectively. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm now completely caught up. And uh, I guess, so the next episode probably won't have this segment, depending on how long. I may reduce my buffer a little bit, wait a few more days before recording anything to try to, you know, prevent the next one with an episode from coming out, like, any later than Monday. Okay, let's get back to the, to the much better game anyway. Let's talk to Kenny. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that Indeed place. it does. <laughs> we fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want I know I'm not gonna be there to tell her. 
Okay, let's look at the horizon. Square over there. So exactly what Kenny just said. All right, let's talk to mm -hmm. Kenny. Nah, I'm just. Uh, it's taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? That's just everything. Fuck, man. Caught you and, uh... I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are right now, and I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Kid. No. No, I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Let's see. Uh, how many you think are below us? How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Probably a lot. Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. Makes sense for a hospital. That's what I was thinking. And out there, look at that dust. Fuck, man. Who knows? Dust. Okay. Did you see that bell tower? Bell tower over there. We know Why does everything seem so yeah. so wonky? Could be part of how we get through the streets. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Well, like, what? Why is everything all jittery? About anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. Well, okay. See, oh, there's a fire Where's escape. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. So we're gonna have to find a way to divert them. I wonder how we're gonna do that. See, I can... See, do I have an option to just look at the fire escape? Okay, let's go talk to Ben for a moment. Okay, let's talk to Ben. There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. Okay, so that will be useful. Uh, see, you came with me. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. Now, see, uh, there's a bell tower over there, so this bell tower is going to be important. Bell tower. We might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? A... I don't know. Uh, it, it might draw some to us as well. I mean, it's very close to us. Any thoughts on our current situation? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. We need to get off this roof. So they keep mentioning dust. Okay, you still want to die. I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. Oh. Say, uh, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Make sure that doesn't happen as well as I can. Thanks. In then I'll remember you, that. Getting bitten is not that Preferably. Bad. Really? No. It's a death sentence. It's horrible. <laughs> but try not to worry about it. Uh, I get the title of the episode now, No Time Left, because basically I'm on a ticking clock for, for, uh, how, you know, I don't really have any time left. Oh, footprints. Let's look at those. He or she walked <laughs> away from whatever accident happened. So and then they jumped happen. off. Okay, so say, uh, or maybe they turned, died and turned, see, let's pick up the ladder. Okay. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Okay, uh, actually, I'm gonna go back. I don't want to deal with it yet. I'm gonna go talk to Omid and Krista first. Uh, because I think that, I think doing the ladder, uh, takes us on the next portion. Okay, let's talk to Krista. 